This is a video I've wanted to make for a while now, um, and it's about Macquarie University's hidden underground tunnel system. Most people don't know that uh, there's about 1.5 kilometers of walkable tunnel, a tunnel underneath the campus. And when I say a tunnel system, it's really just two long runs that form uh, the shape of the letter T and a few short spurs that hang off them. The main run follows the length, most of the length of Wally's walk, and that forms the crossbar of the T, if you think of it that way. And then there's a second tunnel that joins the Wally's walk tunnel at 90 degrees, somewhere around C5C, if you know where that is. And that run heads out towards the library and then continues on under the road and ends inside the disused building called C1A. The tunnel is built using the cut and cover method where you dig a big trench uh, and then lay large diameter piping and then seal it up and then recover the piping with earth. Uh, the photo you're looking at now is from the university's archives uh, and sort of shows you how it was done. Uh, notice that the safety hazard of the people standing way too close to the edge of the pit. Getting into the tunnel uh, requires performing a safety induction and then you, you know, when you're inside you have to wear a hard hat and a fluoro vest. Uh, you also have to go in pairs and notify security when you're heading in and when you come out. Access to the tunnel is very well secured using the university's access cards uh, and sometimes physical keys. And there's a large number, probably a dozen security cameras down there too. The tunnel provides services like electricity, fire, uh, fire system water, so fire suppression water, data networking runs, uh, drinking water, and natural gas to most of the buildings that run alongside the tunnel. It's also, well, it also used to be used to provide hot and cold water loops for central heating back when that was a thing. The tunnel looks like it's straight out of a movie, and in fact it was used in a movie called The Punisher, starring Dolph Lundgren uh, back in, I think, 1989. I got a copy of the movie, um, and it appears to have about a six second cameo for the tunnel. Uh, where Dolph's riding a motorcycle down it, um, and you can sort of see the tunnel in the background as he rides along. I don't really recommend the film. Uh, it looks pretty ordinary, and it's only got 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. So here's a time lapse of the tunnel. So it gives you an idea of just how long it is, and how it sort of, uh, even though it's got straight-ish sections, it sort of uh, has kinks in it, so it's not a perfect straight line along the runs. Along the tunnel, I discovered this piece of original graffiti, uh, Labor Students 91, uh, which is original, uh, and it's in remarkable shape considering how long ago it was put there. Uh, presumably some students got in and, uh, as part of, I don't know, for some reason and put their graffiti there. Uh, it is a bit of sad. The tunnels had a clean out and jet washed and was jet washed, so this graffiti is slightly faded compared to you know, when I first saw it and when I took this photo. All right, that's all I've got to show you. If you have any questions about the tunnel, please put them in the comments below. I'm sure I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, or if there's something specific you want to see, or I don't know, talk about, yeah, please make a comment. I'd really appreciate it. All right, thanks very much.